Oh hey, it's another one of my trailer reaction videos, this time for Warriors All-Stars, which I realise is more for me than anybody else. It's a Dynasty Warriors game with a bunch of Tecmo Koei characters, essentially. That's exactly what it is. You've got Lu Bu there from Dynasty Warriors, you've got people from Dead or Alive, you've got this cat. Not all that familiar with some of their RPGs that they do. But that's... Shit, that wasn't very much, was it? That was 33 seconds. That was a 33 second long trailer, folks. So it's about that. Uh, well, what can we learn from this trailer? Well, it's got characters in it. It's got characters from Dynasty Warriors, uh, which is exciting. I, I love Dynasty Warriors. Everybody knows that about me. Um, Samurai Warriors, I like that one as well quite a lot, so they've got characters from that in it. Uh, it has Opuna in it, I don't know if any of you remember Opuna. Opuna was that uh, RPG that they put on the Wii. You could play it one-handed, I think, was the big deal with that. They talked about that a lot, how you could do that. You know what? Fuck it. That was just the Western announcement teaser trailer anyway. There are real trailers because... It's, I think it's already out in Japan. Well, certainly it's gotten a lot more promotion in Japan because we've got all these trailers we can look at. Look, here's a mask man. So that's exciting. And then... Skirt Girl. Dead or Alive. I, I don't know their fighting games all that well either, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'm just in it for the Dynasty Warriors. And... Maybe Mystic Warriors, if they've got a Mystic Warriors. They won't have a Mystic Warriors character. This I can talk about with a little more authority, because it's Lu Bu. And I know who Lu Bu is. I recognise Lu Bu. I'll clap when I see him. Here we are, Lu Bu, just laying waste to loads of fuck nuts. As well as this cat. So that's good. Oh, that's, uh him. I... You know what? I'm blowing this spot. I th This should be right up my alley, but I don't really know the characters. Because I like Dynasty Warriors. But I don't really play a lot of other Tecmo Koei games. I, uh... I know that one. That was Deception. And Ninja Gaiden. We all know that guy. So there are characters, there's there's something for everyone, there's just not a lot for someone who's trying to really, really drum up shit to say. You know, I know that character, I know her, and her, that's, she's Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors again. Some of these characters I recognise. And just lots of Japanese words, and shouting, and flashing, and stars. Just to get us pumped up. I don't know what's with the whoop, 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 the the record scratch noise with the zooming in and out. Opuna! I told ya! Exactly. And then just a lot of post-trailer stuff, which seems a lot more popular in Japan. They'll show you the trailer and then do a lot of this. Just uh, images and information narrated. This is a collector's edition here, the treasure box, which uh, the Warriors games tend to do. Just a lot of that. You don't really see that so much. In, in um, North American game trailers, it's a lot more to the point. After the trailer, you'll normally just get a big pre-order now, and that's it. Pre-order now, fuck off. And, and that will be a lot. So that's Warriors All-Stars anyway. I'm you know, particularly interested in it because of my interest in the Warriors games. Uh, I do notice that even with the Western announcement trailer, they're using Japanese voiceovers again. I've complained about this a lot with Warriors games. Um, some games it's fine uh, if you're not going to localise the voice acting. In a game like Dynasty Warriors, where I am trying to look at what's happening on the screen and I'm using audio cues mostly to tell me like which officer's in trouble or whether an officer's in trouble, I'm not reading text dialogue down at the bottom, that's a problem. And that always annoys me. And really what annoys me more than anything is it's Tecmo Koei cutting corners and cutting costs with a game series that... 
really reuses a lot of assets. At the, at this point, a lot of Dynasty Warrior spin-offs could be called asset flips, like masturbatory asset flips. And ugh, ugh. Uh, that sorry, just conjured up some terrible mental images of certain developers. Uh, but anyway. Uh, that's that's more or less what it is. It's like the amount of savings Tecmo Koei makes, the amount of s- bits it snips off here and there, and the amount of times it just re-releases and reuses um, games and bits of games. There's no excuse for it. There's no excuse for shoddy localization at this point, and you know half done localization. Um, outside of that. Uh, the gameplay looks like your typical hack and slash stuff, which a lot of people are not going to care for, but I'm probably going to enjoy quite a bit. So, uh, I like these games. 